here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become the champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proving ground for his first UFC title fight tonight. Stepped into the octagon this time, he wants to leave with that championship belt. All right, the UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula then? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Habib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him, you will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbula get in there between rounds. Little guy's <laughs> got a lot to say. <laughs> Habib Nurmagomedov, ready to add to his appreciable legacy here tonight. And now our kill the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Leon Ruffy Edwards. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight. Champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so here's the perennial welterweight contender, Leon Rocky Edwards. Nice to see him finally realize a championship opportunity there in Salt Lake City. This is a five-tool player, though. A lot of people fancy him just a striker. Haven't watched all the film. Of that, I can assure you. He can wrestle, he can grapple, can even choke you out if need be. Going to be very interesting to see stylistically how he chooses to approach this matchup tonight. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Oh, beautiful strike in there by Leon Edwards. He has really become a well-rounded welterweight. You saw him the Gunnar Nelson fight, how good his wrestling defense was. Leon Edwards is a real problem, DC. All right, so there it is, just as he said in our fighter meeting, he's going to pursue the clinch at all costs. He doesn't care about the crowd booing. This is how you defeat. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. That guillotine is tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Oh, he's got him in the cruise. Ramago Madoff's trying for a submission here. Oh, it could be the beginning of the end. That looks tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. And he's back up. Three minutes to go. Oh, man. 
Take down defenses there. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but did not react quick enough to secure top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. Oh, nice straight there by Nermago Meta. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Yep, they give you deep. Oh, Iron got it. Did he not? Did he get out? Setting up another submission. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. It looks like the arm triangle's getting very close. Now he's got to get off to the side, drop his chest to the mat, and get the finish. Continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position. Oh, he's got his back. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Nermago Meta. Oh, not at all where he wants to be now as he gets flattened on his back. Round two straight ahead. All right, so we get you some replays here as this one goes the distance, and I think a little bit of an edge to that corner just given all the submission attempts. He yeah, really he never rested. It. Johnny never rested on the bottom, right? Every time he was on the bottom, he was throwing up submissions. If he got a chance on top, he was attacking submissions. There has to be points awarded to the guy that is constantly chasing to finish the fight. I believe he did that, and I believe he earned the victory tonight. Second round underway. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Nurmago Medov. And Jalo's up with another one. Block that shot there. Back and forth we go. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to take down that finish. Beautiful job by the champions. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, massive knee to the head. He went high on that one. Oh! Always be close. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Some nice knees there by him. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nurmago Medov going for the takedown here, but he misses. Best punch in the game. A beautiful jab. And that left hook landed on the button. Inside leg kick is good. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he cut the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. What a fun fight. These two are going back and forth. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the... Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble.
15 seconds. Oh. Round three next. All right, so there's the end of the round. Tough job, but somebody's got to do it, man. Absolutely <laughs> incredible. Both fighters got stunned. It's amazing to think that we fight on. We are in the best seat in the house to watch two men go out there and really lay it on the line. Both got hurt. But even when they were hurt, neither one of them looked like they wanted to take a step back. This is the exact type of fight they expected and the type of fight that they're delivering to the fans. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the Ready. other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fight over here tonight. Gets back up. The question is for how long? Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war of pistol where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Two straight lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. Oh, right into mount. <laughs> Nermago Medoff trying to get a triangle here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. dangerous than the armbar. Now, he's mounted, but he's not stuck in a very deep submission. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Oh, great ground strike there, and now blood is a factor. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nago Medov. Another ground and pound strike lands. Khabib's trying to lock up on a submission now. Ooh, that looks tight. Who gotta be kidding me? He's out. for his activity, landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Nurmagomedov. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walked back to the corner. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five, five minutes. 
So here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Oh, loaded up on that. Oh, it's no good. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot. and mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Evans. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Yep. Oh, big shots raining down. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on him. That's in pretty deep. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Get him beat up and being smart enough to not be head hurting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Well, that swelling is getting out of control to that end. You see the referee has paused the action, likely to call on the doctor. We'll see if this fight can continue, Champ. Well, it's so noticeable. You got to check on it. You got to make sure that this fighter is able to continue. All right, well, the doctor appears to think he's still good to go. And you know what? If it's good enough for the doctor, it's good enough for me. I'm all in. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is... Oh! It's over! Oh! Holy smokes. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, five seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Hermano Mena. there from Bruce Buffer, and what a moment for Khabib Nurmagomedov. It's one thing to TKO a guy. How about a flush knockout for Khabib tonight? I mean, the closest we've seen to him dropping someone was the overhand right he landed against Conor McGregor. So to go out there and stiffen someone with a punch shows the evolution of